Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm seeing how it's Halloween. I'm going to be doing a couple of videos on Halloween stuff. And recently Nika decided that it's going to start releasing a line of Halloween style turtle figures. Uh, if you look back in my older reviews, I did one on the Raphael. I just got in the uh, Bride of Frankenstein, April O'Neil. So I'm really looking forward to this review. Um, they have a couple more coming. They're going to have like Mummy Mike and um, what was Leo supposed to be? Uh, the Invisible Man. Leo was the Invisible Man? Okay. And Splinter is uh, Van Helsing. Right. Then who's Donnie? Donnie? I thought Donnie was the Invisible Man. Is yeah, it? no, no. Leo was uh, Igor. Igor. There you go. So as these figures keep coming out, I'm going to do a review on each one. So just remember, if you do like these videos, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see more. And without any further ado, let's get to the review. Um, I love the artwork to the front of this. It has a real pop to it. You have the lightning behind her. You have that kind of expression on her face. Uh, you have her name as April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein. You have the Turtles versus Monsters logo up here. You open her up. You get this nice picture of the figure herself. And then you get her inside this nice clear shell with all her accessories. Over here you have, you know, the art, same as the front, her name, the Turtles versus Monsters, and then the Nika and the Rebel logo on the bottom. Spin it around this way. Now this is kind of cool because they did it up like your old school horror flicks. So you got all these pop catchphrases here, which really looks really nice. You know, shocking tales of April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein. So the way how they did this is an homage to the old Universal Studios theater style, you know, posters and stuff. So I really like this. You know, it, it, it has a nice bit of effort to it. And then on the side here, it shows the logo, um, all the different figures that are going to be part of this line at this point. Spin it around to the top. You have the front picture again. Her name, Turtles vs. Monsters. Uh, choking warning, age restrictions. And then, of course, the bottom is your legal. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at her. Alright, so here she is out of box. She has a really nice look to her. She has that classic, you know, MGM style Bride of Frankenstein look to her. They had these nice little details like this little voice box right in here into her throat. Uh, a little bug on here. So let's give her the rotation. Spin her around. And I like how it comes all the way back around here and into her back. That's kind of a neat effect there. Give her the complete spin around. Let's go through her points of articulation. So her head is on a ball joint. She has a shoulder joint. An elbow joint. A wrist joint. She does have an upper torsal joint. Uh, it's a little hard to move because of all the rubber parts on her. She does have a thigh joint. That too is hard because of her skirt. She has a double... No, she has a single knee. All right. And she also has an ankle joint. It looks like she has a swivel up here, like right above the knee. So she has one of those as well. So, you know, uh, get her to stand on there proper like. All right. She comes with an extra head. So this is a smiling head. All right. She comes with two hands. So she has this one here that's an open hand to hold stuff. And she also has this one too as well that holds stuff. She comes with a couple of experimental mice. These are kind of neat looking. Like this one has an eye sewn into it. And then this one has an ear sewn into it. So that's, that's actually kind of cool. It's a neat little freaky, you know, extra. She comes with a little spider speeder. So that's pretty neat. She comes with a Raphael Psy. Now, 
The reason why she comes with this is for two reasons. One, Raphael is Frankenstein in this line. And two, it's an homage to the movie because this figure is designed off of the movie April. So it's an homage to the movie when, you know, Raphael leaves his side behind and she gets his side. So that's kind of cool that they added that to her. She comes with this electrode stick, which is also a microphone. So that's kind of a neat little, you know, mixing between the classic MGM horror with the electrodes and electricity and all that and her character who is supposed to be a news reporter. So I kind of really dig that. I like that there's that thought process put into this figure. And then she comes with a purse. And so it's nicely detailed. And I like that they actually use real chain for her purse. You know, instead of plastic or what have you, have you. It gives it a nicer look. It makes it more durable. So I definitely like the factor that they took that extra mile with this figure. All right, so let's see how well some of these accessories work. First, let's start with her head. Mm. Head pops out pretty easily. Let's pop this one on. Work it just a little bit. All right. And that head is now on. It moves fine. So the heads are easily interchangeable. Let's see how easy the wrists are. That pops off pretty easy. Open hand goes in, and that pops off pretty easy. All right, so her hands are easily exchangeable, which is pretty good. So that's a neat feature there. See how well the microphone fits in this hand. Yeah, that goes in there pretty well. Let's see how well it goes into the other one. Yeah, so... The microphone easily fits in either hand, so that, that's pretty pretty good. Let's see if the side... Now, this thing's pretty big for her hands. I don't think... Now, her fingers are pretty easily movable, so this might actually work into one of these hands. Let's see. yeah with a little bit of work boom the side does go in there you got to play with it for a little bit but the nice thing is her fingers are movable so you can bend them out a little bit so it does fit in there so that's a pretty good thing i like that that can actually happen and let's see her purse let's see how well this just drapes over over her head hmm there we go all right so her purse fits on her pretty well so overall everything fits on nice snug it works easy with her so that, that that's definitely a good thing i've had other figures where you have to fight to get hands on and off or heads on and off or you know um accessories in the hand so all this works pretty well with her oh and there is a correction to um uh that leonardo we we're wrong leonardo wasn't igor he's actually um what's his name the hunchback of notre dame so that was our era our bad so overall i really think this is a really good figure I like the way she looks. I like that she's homaged both to the first Turtles movie and the old MGM, you know, style monster movies. I would highly recommend this figure for anybody who's into Turtles, horror flicks, and what have you. She looks really nice on a shelf. And overall, yeah, I, I would just, I would highly recommend this figure. So, I hope you like this review. If you did, uh, go ahead and check out my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playlist and also... I have a horror and sci-fi playlist that has other sort of horror stuff. So I got a Turtles playlist and a horror one that you could check out. And also, I'm doing a review on Jason from Freddy vs. Jason. And I'm also doing a review on Pennywise from the original two movie series, It. So go ahead and check those out too. So until the next video, late. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. 
And if you did, go ahead and hit the like button, share it with friends, and, you know, subscribe to the channel or ring the notification bell because any of these things will help this channel grow. And also, a way you can help this channel grow is leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you any kind of feedback or questions that you might have. Just leave it in the comments. I will get back to you. So once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Late.